Hi, I'm Bruce Cook. I work for Facilities Engineering at Unity Hospital. And today we're going to be discussing the proper use of the pneumatic tube system or the PEPCO tube system. These are carriers. There's two different colors, red, clear, and solid green. There's no designation between the, the two of them. There's no difference. They're not earmarked for different um, stations or whatever. On each carrier you've got latches. They're both similar in action. Inside the carrier should be a foam insert of some sort. That is to prevent breakage for um, your specimen transactions. Before you send a transaction, <clears throat> you want to inspect it, make sure that everything is intact. The wear bands, which are these black strips, the latches are not broken, and uh, the overall condition of the carrier, there's no cracks or uh, what have you. If you find one that's broken, you need to contact Facilities Engineering immediately. Take it out of service, put it somewhere where nobody else is going to use it, and, and give us a call. You're going to take a bag. Typically, the bags have a, uh, a strip on them that is very staticky. You tear the strip off. And it sticks to your fingers pretty pretty well. Sticks to everything. You want to make sure it goes in the garbage. It will stick to the side of the unit, and eventually it will get sucked up into the system and cause problems down the road. You take your specimen, you drop it in the bag, making sure that it's sealed. Try to push all the air out of it that you possibly can, and close it tightly. You put it in the center of the, the carrier making sure that nothing is sticking out of the carrier. This is a close-up shot of the pneumatic tube system. If you'll notice on the left, every station has a directory. For and Included on the directory are addresses for the various stations. Primarily, you're going to be sending transactions to the lab or to pharmacy. Very seldom will you be sending things to other stations. This is the control panel. The numbers are um, on top, as you can see. They are um, for the addressing of the, the tubes. This is the display panel, which will give you an indication whether the system is down or ready. Um, the blinking red light is telling you that the communication is on and that the, the, the green light is telling you that the system is communicating. With all that in, into account, you're ready to send a carrier. As I mentioned, the static strip or the strips are very staticky and you can see how they're sticking to the side of the station. They need to be uh, disposed of. I've, I've put my transaction or my specimen in the, in the tube or the carrier and I'm ready to send it. I place it on the dispatcher. I press my address. In this case we're going to just send it back to ourselves. So I would hit my address and I would press send. Now you'll notice that the, the tube did not take off immediately. That is because it has to wait in queue for its turn in the system to be sent. Other carriers, other transactions are ahead of it. So don't be alarmed, don't panic when you, when you put your transaction in and it does not send immediately. Sometimes it can take up to four or five minutes depending on the traffic load of the system. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to send a transaction. I'm just going to go over a few key points of what you should and should not do. Um, with the system. First of all, I, I did mention that the bin is to be kept clear. You want to make sure that um, your carriers are in good condition. You uh, want to make sure that you do not take carriers from one station and walk them to another station. Make sure that you take them and send them back to another station. You can do that simply by putting it in the dispatcher empty, making sure it's latched, making sure it's in good condition. Hit zero and press send. It will go that, uh, back into the station or the system 
and uh, replenish a station that uh, is short on tubes. It knows how many tubes you're supposed to have. Um, if there's a spill, make sure that you notify facilities immediately and stop using your system. Spills can contaminate the entire system if not reported immediately. Do not overstuff carriers. If you've got more than one sample, use common sense. Use two carriers if need be. Um, don't let anything hang out of the carrier when you're sending a transaction. Plastic bags, uh, the tight tolerances of the tube system require that the carrier be completely um, unobstructed by anything hanging out of it. Uh, do not leave anything in the bin. I've already wa uh, said that. Don't use damaged carriers. And um, do not take the carrier off the dispatcher while the transaction is in process. That will cause what we call a snatched carrier. And we will get an alarm. Um, the, your station will shut down because it doesn't know what happened to that carrier, but it knows that it was supposed to leave. So don't do that. These are some important things that uh, you should just keep in mind when you're using the system. If you use it properly, everybody will be happy. So thank you for your time.